Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of The Velvet Lounge Life. And yes, I have an update for you on our community worldwide charm string garland project. So as you know, I have from September 1st until December 23rd to complete this project. So what does that mean? That means we are in desperate need of your donations of buttons as well as bits and bobs that have holes in them that we could string from this garland as well. I am allowed by the rules to use two pounds of miscellaneous bits and bobs. And here we have, I would say maybe half a pound, maybe a little more than half a pound. Um, so yes, we could use another pound and a half and I am constantly on the lookout. As you know, one of the other major rules is I cannot purchase um, buttons or bits and bobs for this project. Everything I have either has to be something I already had, which is the majority of what you see on this table, or I have to, um, you know, seek, you know, hope that people will donate. And so far, people have not only donated, you guys have been stellar. And I really, really appreciate it. So some of what we have is, you know, more sorting. If you guys know me, I mean, I could sort forever because I like to have things pretty perfect. And um, right now, I think I'm pretty much as sorted as I'm going to be because, I mean, you could spend a lot of time sorting and you know, it's just an excuse to hold off the inevitable, which is getting the project done. And I prefer to get the project done. Um, yeah, as I'm standing here, I'm still, I'm, you see me? Did you see my hand? Hopefully not, because, yeah, I was sorting a few things, <laughs> which is hilarious. But anyway, uh, one of the things I did do is separate some of the buttons out by size, some, of course, by material, like these are some metal buttons, um, of course, the bits and bobs were separated, which is right there. Notice I have a lot less buttons that need to be cleaned or have verdigris removed. Um, and then there's some in there that, you know, I know I just need to get rid of and they're definitely not helping probably the other buttons in that box. I separated, you know, flat metal buttons from those that are not flat. Um, you know, obviously a little bit of separating by color because hello there's 92 colors of brown for example so you just put all the brown buttons together I did separate you know some of the large buttons from the small buttons that type of thing um, in different shades of like for example in the white family you have the whites you have um, then you have the non white colors which are more the pearl ivory richer colors and then you have various colors of pale gray to darker gray etc. The list goes on and on. I, like I said, you could look at the colors of green, like you could separate things forever. So you have to just get to a point of satisfaction. Um, notice I have some donation cards already filled out. Uh, one of the things you will see is a difference in how these cards will look in the future because these are too big really for this particular project. Um, this is a music music box, and this is a propeller. Those are not donated for this project. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to cut these probably in fourths because then they will look better on the garland, and they will be hung probably with a ribbon. I was thinking of white cotton thread, just keeping with the sewing vibe, um, but I'm not sure that the, you know, how I string them on there is not of a large significance because I have a variety of strings that I could use or stringing materials. So um, that I just need to experiment with. Um, we didn't receive as many glass buttons as I thought we would um, because the reason I like the glass is it adds a little bit of sparkle. Um, but we do have a you know pretty good variation as far as different types of materials. Um, these are like the pearl and shell. 
um, buttons, mother of pearl, etc. And of course, because I am a large collector of the Waterberry Button Company um, buttons, I have thousands of those that are going to be part of this project. Different shape sizes, obviously some have enamel, some don't, some of them are highly decorated. I don't know if you could see that. And then others are, you know, a little more just utilitarian. And then you have, you know, super fancy ones. And this is probably one of the more common ones that you would see anywhere. Um, and then some that are just a little bit funny, like these with the Ford Model T on it. And some designer buttons, which are mixed within here. But also these, this box right here, which has um, Liz Claiborne buttons in it, different shape sizes, metal types, etc. Um, and those are, you know, some of the metals. And then here there's still some that I need to take off the card. And of course, this, it, these are the buttons that were in this large plastic bin, um, which was a glove holding what the ladies would have put their fancy gloves in. This was, I'm going to say, over halfway full, and I broke down a lot of them by color. Um, and in here, it was mostly red, black, whites, um, browns, and some ivories. And I think, yeah, that was pretty much it. They, I could still see I have some grays and things in there. And I did not try to do the world's most perfect sort because hello like I said you could spend forever doing that and some of our donators are people that don't you know sent me buttons and things bits and bobs as gifts before as well as some people who are new to um, contributing to the project so past contributors as well as brand new current contributors are represented on these tags um, and Hopefully, I will be creating a tag for you um, as a contributor. This is, like I said, one of those worldwide projects. Um, it's really a show of friendship and unity, and you could be part of it simply. Um, remember, if you're mailing um, buttons to me, to put them inside of a Ziploc bag and then put them inside of either a priority mail flat rate envelope or first class. If the buttons weigh less than one pound, you can mail them first class. It's the least expensive way to mail. All methods will receive tracking from the, Uni the United States Postal Service. I haven't had any issues receiving anything in the mail at all, so um, I know some people have had issues due to ridiculous changes made um, by the leader of the Postal Service trying to hold up folks' mail or whatever their illegal intents are. But at the end of the day, so far, thankfully, I've had no issues. Um, also, if you mail something in a priority flat rate envelope, you can stick a box in that envelope, bags in that envelope. I think you could put up to 40 pounds in the envelope. Um, just make sure that you reinforce it with some extra tape. None of this adds to the cost. It costs, I'm going to say, 6 or $7. And you can mail up to 40 pounds in that envelope, which is provided by the post office. Just remember the Ziploc bag, add additional tape. And then if you mail first class, it's up to one pound or 16 ounces. And it should only cost you about five or six dollars to mail that way. Um, but you know, if you have a really gigantic quantity of buttons that you want to send me, I have someone who might be sending me up to six pounds of buttons. And um, for that, we have, you know, some assistance as far as how to mail that as well so that it costs very little um, to do so. So, you know, if you are sending something to us, you know, just let, if you need, um, have questions, I should say, let me know about anything, you know, just let me know and I will do my best to assist you. 
So thank you. Oh, some more updates. Um, another update is, look, our stringing medium is here. The only issue I might have is I might have to reorder this because this is a 28 gauge wire and I normally use a 26 gauge wire. The 26 gauge is actually thicker than the 28 gauge. I thought that would be the reverse, which is why I ordered this. And um, I took the measurements in inches, but then I, of course, transferred them over two feet. And this project will be 51 feet long when it's complete. That includes um, the chair rail, the handrail, I'm sorry, the handrail, the stair rail, and the catwalk rail. So all three of those numbers are in this one number of 51 feet. And also um, something to that is of note is um, as far as, I think I said this, stringing the tags, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use like a cotton string and I might actually use this as my um, tag instead. It's another thought that I have, but I do like this because of the fancy scrolled edges. So let me know which one you like better down in the comments. And whichever gets the most popular vote is the one that I will probably use, even if I have to modify this one a little bit just because of the size. The size of this is perfect. These are a little bit too big, but I can cut them down. So let me know in the comments which one you like the most. And also, instead of using this white cottony thread, I might use like a red, green, gold, like different colors of ribbon that I'm not sure about yet. So anyway, that's where I am so far. I can't believe that the date, September 1st, is almost here. Almost here. So once again, please, anything that you could donate to this project would be greatly appreciated. As you can see, there's no way that I can get 51 feet out of the number of buttons that I have. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, I really do appreciate every single one of you that watches the videos, supports the channel, um, donates, you know, even when I wasn't doing this project and, you know, sending me gifts. I really, really thank you all and appreciate every single thing that you do for me. It really helps, you know, sharing, commenting, giving that thumbs up, subscribing is incredibly important. And I want to ask you to do me a favor and remember that your health is your wealth and without your health, you have absolutely nothing so please, please, please take care of yourselves and remember to have a wonderful day.